Hi, my name is Diane Southard. I'm founder of Your DNA Guide. And today on DNA Defined, we are going to talk about removed relationships. This is one of the most mind boggling concepts in family history. And it's really hard for everybody to get a grasp of. So don't feel bad if you're like, I have no idea what it means to be a second cousin once removed. So a removed relationship at its basic sense is someone who's on a different generation than you are. So the easiest way I found to think about it is I want you to right now picture your own first cousin. Do you have your first cousin in mind? Okay, now think of your first cousin's child. That person is your first cousin once removed. See how they're just on a different generation than you are? So knowing if you're removed or not from one of your DNA matches can be a really valuable way to help you decide how you're related to them. So the testing company might present to you some options about how you're related. But if you understand that this person is, say, your children's age, and therefore they are removed from you, it really helps you figure out which of the many possible relationships could be your relationship. So take a minute to really try and understand these removed relationships. I think they're going to have a big impact on how you see your relationships to your DNA matches. And of course, if you want more of these fabulous tips about how to make use of your DNA and your family history, please like this video and subscribe to our channel so you won't miss any of my tips on how to make the most of your DNA testing experience. Thanks for joining me today.